Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, we have a viewer question. Lori Lewicki asks, will uh, baby Lily be the olive branch that mends the rift between uh, Prince Charles and uh, Harry and uh, Meghan? We'll see. So, this is the Albano Weight Otero. And who are these by? I think these are, are these U.S. games? I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. But uh, what these are, these are for a fellow whose name actually is Albano. Um, and they're done in the um, in the uh, style of the Rider Waite. Well, what makes them interesting is that um, they're very bright. I mean, they're just uh, the typical color of the Rider Waite cards, but somehow, wow, where the Pamela Coleman Smith cards have kind of a, a foggy tinge over them, uh, these are just really shockingly bright. And the hint to that is that the backs of them are so white. I mean, gold and really, really white. So, you know, these are just like all the Rider Waite cards that you've ever seen that are pretty straightforward. And, uh, but the colors really pop. And so, oh, they probably look really great on the uh, camera too. But uh, I love using these. Let me turn this light off I've got on over here because that kind of doesn't give them a true uh, color. So, well, there you go, the Albano Weight Tarot. I don't know uh, what company they come from, uh, crazy enough, but um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea, you know, what they look, what different cards look like, and maybe to help you figure out if you want to buy something I've been using or, um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am. I just used to always like to know, uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, that's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. So will the baby Lily, Lady Lily, Lilibet, Diana, Mountbatten, Windsor, or is it Windsor Mountbatten? Will she be the olive branch, well they should have named her Olive then, well she be the olive branch that will help uh, mend this uh, rift between uh, Prince Charles and uh, his son. And of course Megan falls in there too. So let's see what the cards can tell us. I love these cards um, and I thought they'd be great for this. They're very clear so there shouldn't be a question as to how this comes out. So I want this to be a two-parter on this full Celtic cross. Will Baby Lily be the olive branch that mends the problem with Prince Charles and his son Prince Harry and Meghan. Interesting. Cut the cards, spread them out, and take six cards from the beginning for the first part of the Celtic Cross. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, you know, this sort of silly thing can't go on forever. It's like, uh, I don't know, crazy family uh, squabbles. So the signifier card for the question, will baby Lily be the olive branch between Harry, Meghan, and Charles? Charles, Harry, and Meghan, however you want to see it. Signifier card for that is the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, the Knight brings... Uh, the battle to court. You know, uh, the page kind of brings the idea. The knight is willing to fight for uh, what's going on. And uh, this is a very centered uh, knight who is seems to be, you know, stern and, and, and feels very confident in his position. So the question is, will Lily be the olive branch between uh, Charles and Harry? The uh, challenge to that will be, oh, okay, partnerships. So you've got some good, solid value here that's challenged by partnerships. Okay. Lily, um, wonderfulness, is challenged by uh, making these partnerships. The base of this reading is then, ah, the end. So, you know, the Ten of, the ten of Swords is, it doesn't look good, but it, it can mean the end of a cycle, the end of something. I mean, it's a dead stop. Something new has to start after this happens. So the Ten of Swords could be exactly what we're looking for here, for this uh, foolishness to end. Uh, in the past of this reading will be the Eight of Cups. So having to walk away from some passionate, um, you know, issue. Um, so some emotional uh, situation. And uh, that seems to be it, that it's time to walk away from this thing. 
in the sky for this is uh, making plans, they're short term plans. Two of the two of wands I always see as, as uh, you know, the beginnings of something bigger and better. So, yeah, two of wands making plans. I think that that makes sense. The uh, likely outcome of this first part of this Celtic cross then is the king of wands. And that's uh, bigger plans. So uh, there we go. So I would say that, yeah, she, uh, is, is baby Lily going to be the olive branch between uh, Charles and Harry? And then, of course, by extension, Megan. So uh, we start out with the uh, the Knight of uh, Pentacles, very strong values what this baby uh, brings with it. Challenged by making these partnerships, the old cycle uh, has to end. We have to turn away from those uh, emotions, uh, make some plans for the future, and follow through on those plans. Now for the uh, last cards, the last four cards of this Celtic cross, let's see, what do we have? The uh, self of this question. The question is, will baby Lily be the one that mends the rift? Wheel of Fortune. That's interesting. I mean, it's, it's a crapshoot. It could be. Uh, the chances are better yes than no uh, with this card. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a gamble, and uh, maybe she will be. The um, environment that that's in, however, is ah, the long-term plans. So, and that's exactly right. You know, the monarchy is, uh, or should be anyway, uh, thinking about the long-term plans of an event that's happening right now. And to be so um, invested in this uh, hurt that's caused right now, I think, uh, detracts from uh, making the long-term plans. So this crapshoot is um, in the environment of making these long-term plans. There were, you know, I imagine there were plans for Meghan and Harry to be a part of the monarchy, uh, and now all that came to a stop, and other people had to pick up the slack. And uh, but who's to say that they don't have the right to do that? But whatever is the reason of what's right and wrong, um, it was it was in the environment of these long-term plans. So the hopes and the fears for this. Then, okay, celebrations. You know, small steps is what I say. The four of wands for me are small celebrations. You can see uh, the castle in the background. You know, for the first time, I've really noticed a throng of people down here uh, uh, celebrating or in the presence of the celebration for these these two. So, yeah, I would say the hopes, the fears, the hopes are that we start to get small steps forward. And then the likely outcome for all of this is, ah, that's very good. The Six of Cups uh, having things the way they were, going back to a nice, even, emotional keel like we used to have in the past. When was that? I don't know, but that's what that card represents. So looks good. Yeah, she. it looks like, uh, thanks, Lori. I think your question was right on point. It looks like, yes, of course she will be the olive branch, and then what they do with it is up to the parties involved. So, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Lily comes forth as the knight uh, full of value, or at least that represents probably her presence, uh, challenged by, you know, partnerships, get it going. End of a cycle was the base of the reading. So, you know, everything had to stop. And uh, we had to walk away from all those hurt emotions. Um, planning is what's happened here. Uh, we got kicked into short-term planning when we had hoped long-term planning is what was going to happen. And then with the self of the question, it was all it's all just a matter of how well things work out. And it looks like they probably will work out well. Um, because it was uh, in, in the process now of kind of restructuring everyone's duties in the royal family with this Three of Wands long-term planning. Um, small celebrations look like are, are in the future, hopefully, and uh, because everybody wants things the way they were, where nobody was such a, so upset and mad and, and hurt. So, let's all hope. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.